lecture i am going to discuss what how to get distinct values in power bi power query so first here getting the data so clicking there get data from another source and they are using the csv and here selecting the file emp so this is now here this is the records click on this load and now you can see here or oh, this is the emp or table records so now you can see dpt dpt is or or same way or duplicates are there so i wanna check here only distinct so for this one going to create new table and this place going to use here count and uh, using uh, distinct function then after let's write here emp and applying on dpt okay so after when i press enter then you can see 10 20 30s is only on this uh, uh, column dpt but it's uh, repeated but here 10 20 30s are there only okay and uh, if i go on this emp you can apply this distinct in any columns okay so here uh, two four three thousand or maybe or twice times but you want to return only one times then you can use here distinct so let's uh, use here this times emp cell so cell column that going to use now press enter then you can see this all are returning only unique no any duplicate there so this is the first way okay now thereafter i am going to use uh, their or uh, this times the uh, power query so getting the data first so here getting the data from the csv and this time using employees so here you can see now for power query we need to click on transform data power query that's open and this place you can see here our department id has so many duplicates i can't count but it's a duplicate so i wanna count as well as so check how many times that are duplicate so uh, we can easily get this you need to click on this group by and there you need to specify so here let's so uh, duplicate is in department id so department id selecting and here this place giving the meaningful new column name account duplicate and uh, this here going to count rows only and no need to give anything there click on this ok so now you can see this place ok so if i make this on or this one ascending order so null is one times 10 is one times 20 is twice times 30 is four times 40 is one times 50 is 45 times okay so this is the only values are repeated and this is your number of occurrence so this uh, here we can get and there is the one thing is there if i go on this group by and this place going to use here count distinct rows so this return only one so 10 one times 20 this all written in one okay so this is how we can get or distinct values in power bi and power query from one particular columns there and there we can use distinct functions so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you